Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Word of God will judge you. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 12, verse 48. He that rejected me and receiveth not my words, art one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 25, See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Golden text, Acts chapter 3, verse 23, And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Quote, brethren, that is the theme of our revelation this morning. It is said, examine the words of God whether you think that you have everlasting life in you. The covenant of God is the Holy Bible. Our pride and boasting are in this Bible Judgment cannot be delivered from any other book in the world apart from the Holy Scriptures. Therefore, it is expedient for all of us to search the Holy Scriptures daily and to abide by the instructions of God. If you say that you are in search of salvation and yet you have not got the Holy Bible in your house, you are wasting your time. No other book in the world, even if it costs millions of naira, can give you salvation. We ought to live our lives in conformity with the words of God in the Holy Scriptures. God says that heaven and earth will pass away, but not a jot shall pass away from the words of God until all come to fulfillment. Any person who says that he knows God and yet he does not know his words is a liar. Any person who professes to believe in God and yet does not believe in the words of God is a liar. God is the truth and his words are true. This is the time that we ought to draw nearer to the words of God in the Holy Scriptures. The, a native doctor or a necromancer will never reveal to you about this generation and what is going to happen. No society, no scientist or philosopher is able to tell you what is going on in the world now. God does not hide his divine plans. Everything is clearly written in the Holy Scriptures. Our Lord Jesus Christ, while in the earth plain, said, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, yet you do not do the things which I say? In another portion of the Bible, he says, Not all those who call me Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven, Therefore, let no person use his sweet tongue to deceive you to violate the commandments of God. If a person tells you that you are not a man of God, do not argue, but search the Holy Scriptures whether your actions and deeds correspond with the words of God in the Scriptures. This is not the time that somebody should live by praises of men. This is the time to search the Holy Bible and find out where you have fallen and what you should do to amend your ways. Did our Lord Jesus Christ not say openly that all those who do not want him 
to rule over them should be brought and killed before him? Have you heard when he said that any person who rejects him and refuses to receive his word, that he will not judge such a person, but that his words will judge him on the last day? These words also confirm the reply that our Lord Jesus Christ gave to the scribes and the Pharisees when they claimed to have known Moses. He said, Do not think that I will condemn you, but Moses that you claim to know will be your judge. Have you not heard what Moses said? That at the end of time all those who do not listen to the voice of that prophet will be destroyed? Did all those who claim to know Moses discover this portion from the Bible? Moses had said that when it is time, God will bring out a prophet among the brethren, and it shall come to pass that all those who do not listen to the voice of that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. It is now incumbent upon every one of us to search ourselves whether we have listened to the voice of that prophet. The stone the builders rejected, brethren, all the gospels that are given to you now are revision of what had been said before, so that you may retrace your steps from where you have fallen short of the glory of God. You keep on shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What is the meaning of your shouting this name when you have despised his instruction? Brethren, all the churches are in a pitiable state. Similarly, the entire world is in a pitiable condition. And for this reason, I use this opportunity to sacrifice myself and time for you. That is what man cannot do, but God can do all things. The tape that is brought here to record the gospel and the writing of the gospel are all for the use of man. As you have seen now, the great hall is empty. People do not come in to listen to the gospel. And when the gospels are put into black and white for their reading, they do not read either. If you preach the words of God into the ears of people, they fall asleep because they are looking for Naira. If you want to induce them to hear the words of God, they will tell you to leave them alone for they see hungry and query what authority you have to give the word of God to them. And they will further ask to know those who are able to practice the words of God. As it was in the time of Noah, so it is now. As it was in the time of Lot, so is it now. You all are the children of the day. And that is why I tell you that anything that God does not pronounce cannot come to pass. What God has passed through his prophets to reveal is nothing but the truth. I am revealing this to you so that if there had been any word of God that you despised, you may immediately put them into practice. You all are my witnesses that day by day I remind you of all the words that came from our Lord Jesus Christ. I do not add to it, nor do I take out anything from it. The doctrine of Christ is the judgment for the whole world. All those who abide by the doctrines of Christ are justified, but all those who refuse to obey his words are condemned. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ told the Pharisees, For judgment I came so that all those who see may become blind, and those who are blind may see the Pharisees put a question to Christ. Are we all blind? He answered, 
if you were blind, you would have no sin. But inasmuch as you claim that you have sinned, your sins remain with you. The doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ removes us from sinfulness and the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ remove us from sinfulness and unrighteousness. If we practice the words of God which states that we should have with that we should love one another with all our soul, then we would have no more sin. There is no indulgence in sinfulness. All the time our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us love. His teachings are to save us from shame, from death, from tribulation and hell. All the prophets of old bore witness about him. It was prophesied that when he comes, all would practice his teachings. And it would come to pass that all those who do not practice his teaching would be cast away. Brethren, when you are told that the present administration is that of Jehovah God and his Christ, many of you doubt. Let me prove to you, Christ says that no person should call another person master or teacher because only Christ is the master and teacher. For all of us are brethren. Do you not see what is happening now? The whole world is brotherhood. Everyone is brother and sister. If you have any title more than that, my hands are off and you are inviting trouble for yourself. You are advised not to call any person a teacher for the Holy Spirit alone is the teacher as you all assemble in this great hall now. I am not a teacher. It is the Holy Spirit that teaches now. When it is the fullness of time, all those who do not hear the voice of that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. It is not for you to teach anything. What are you going to teach? All you have to do is to practice all the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded in the scriptures. He teaches us not to offer wine to any person and never to drink. He said we should not have any other God apart from him. If we obey all that he teaches in the Holy Scriptures, we are saved. He teaches us to respect our mother and father. He teaches us not to steal, not to fornicate or tell a lie to anyone. All these are the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says that we should abide by all his teachings. He says that we should not be a false witness against any person. Brethren, do you abide by all these teachings of his? If you have not done them, please start practicing them now because the time is near to the close of the age so that you may be saved. What brings trouble? problems and tribulations into the whole world. It is because the people have rejected his teachings. His words are true. Our Lord Jesus Christ says that any person who rejects his words has the one that will judge him because the words that he speaks will judge the person on the last day. For you to refuse to put the words of God into practice is not the way out. But remember that Christ has said that at the end he will send his angels to remove all the things that prevent man from putting the words of God into practice from the surface of the earth. This means that any person that rejects the words of God has rejected life and loves death. Do not beg any person to practice the words of God. Do not bribe any person just to induce him to put the words of God into practice. 
All you have to do is to continue to teach everybody the word of God. Point it out to them where they have erred. Continue to preach to them so that if the people abide by the teachings, they may be saved. What has caused problems in the world is the fact that everyone in the world rejects the word of God. Some people go about indoctrinating others against the teachings of Christ. Do not joke with any word spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ because all his words are spirit and life. Those words mean God. If you practice his words, be sure that you have got God and Christ. The word of God is the bread of life that comes from heaven and any person who eats of it will live forever. If you practice the word of God, you will never be sick and you will not die. Watch from January 1 to December 31, year in, year out, that I am not teaching you any other thing than revising what the Holy Spirit, the Christ, has taught. Our oh, Lord Jesus Christ made a statement that when the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, comes, He will teach us everything and will remind us of what He had said. Therefore, brethren, this is a good opportunity to practice the words of God. Do not seek salvation from money because money can never save you. Do not seek salvation from the government or any person of the world, for none will save you. Rather seek salvation in the words of God as recorded in the Holy Bible. If there is anything you have ignored or refused to practice, it is imperative for you to put them all into practice because as soon as you do this, you are saved. Allow the words of God to dwell in you richly. Make it your teacher and be directed by the word of God in order to gain eternal life. Allow the word of God to lead you, watch over you, and allow the word of God to be the light that shines on your way. Brethren, if you abide by the doctrines of Christ, you will have eternal life. If you were not, if it were not so, I would have told you, a person who practices the words of our Lord Jesus Christ has no problem. If you are determined to put some words of God into practice and overlook some, it will bring you untold hardship because the word of God is only one. This can be likened to mankind which can be traced to the same origin. That is to say that only one exists in the whole world. When you make reference to him, it is only one man. A woman is the same person, yet if you make mention of a child, it is the same person. Take an old man for instance. He is the same person. This is so because our Lord Jesus Christ is one person and God. You mistakenly claim that there are so many people in the world whereas there is only one person. Some people claim that there are many gods. I agree. But still, there is only one God. Others believe that there are so many kings when there is only one king. When you say the son of man, who is the son of man? At times you say the son of God and I say who is the son of God? Who is God himself? All these names are the same and one person. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he is Jesus. He is Christ and He is the Savior, He is the way, He is the truth, He is the life, He is the Spirit. 
when our Lord Jesus Christ said that when he goes back that he that the comforter would come people are led into thinking that these are different entities no other person was to come than the Lord Jesus Christ remember that he had it that if he did not go back, the Comforter would not come, which proves that he who went back was the same one who came back to the earth plain. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, Philip, and yet, yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The word that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he does the work. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. If you ponder over this statement very carefully, you will never be able to discern and may even feel that Christ and the Father are different entities, whereas he referred to the same person. Can you tell why Christ said, Love one another as I have loved you? Why did he not say, love me as I love you? Christ also told us that there is only one God, and that if it were not so, he would have told us. Another statement that he made is, as long as you do these things to any of the little ones, you do them unto me. If it were not true that there is only one person in the entire universe. Christ would have not said, Whoever rejoices over the messenger sent in my name rejoices over me. With this in mind, do you know that if you accept the words of Christ, of a Christ student, that you are receiving the word from God? Or do you not believe that if you receive a Christ servant with an open arm that you do that to God? Do you not know that any good deed done to a prophet of God is done to God? Do you not know that if you clothe someone see naked on the road that you, have, that you do such deed? Of kindness unto God the prayer one offers to any sick person is done unto God if you buy a loaf of bread to the sick person it is counted as if you have done it unto God remember when Christ said that anything done to one of the little one is done unto him this is indicative of the fact that his death and resurrection were a unifying force for humanity unto the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is no other spirit. It is brotherhood alone that exists. God is in everything and in all things. That is why he said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And I and my Father are one. At the moment we are in the Father and the Father in us. The Father and we are one. He said that we are branches. He is the stem. The branches can never yield fruits of itself except they grow out of the stem. Again he said, dwell in me as I dwell in the Father. Furthermore, he said that when you are cut off as branches, you wither and die, and you will be put in the fire and burned. How can you dwell in God apart from in love? 
When you do not love, you will die in that. You will become sick. And at last, you will die. Love is the way, the truth, and the life. Read the first lesson again.